Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo Reno 12 FS and today I will show you how you can enable and set up your do not disturb mode. For it you will want to pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of your screen like so and then swipe down once again just make sure you don't swipe on the toggles so like right here and this extends the list of visible toggles. Next locate the do not disturb toggle for me, it is on the second page right over here. Once you see it, if you're doing this the first time, I recommend holding it as this will quickly take you to the settings and in here you can see how it's set by default and obviously change the settings if they don't fit your standards. Uh, I'm going to touch upon a couple of these options. So under contacts, you can select can call you or message you. And then you also have the option for repeated callers. So if someone calls you twice within a three minute period, they will bypass whatever you have selected right over here. If you want this, just toggle it on. It's a good option for emergency specifically. And additionally, we have a schedule. And here you can select a fully automatic schedule. There is one pre-made called sleeping that runs all week long and starts at 10 p.m. ends at 7 a.m. Uh, it is turned off by default. So if you want to use any kind of schedule, uh, even ones that you will create yourself, just make sure that they are toggled on in here. As you obviously can create your own toggles by clicking on the plus right here. Now, once you have gone through the settings, you can close this. And for people that want to manually use this, just find the toggle and this time around simply press on it and then select turn on. Now this pop-up won't show up again. Um, and for people that want to use the automatic mode, the schedule one, just make sure that it is toggled on in the, se in the settings like I showed you and you don't need to do anything extra. The device will be turning uh, this specific toggle on and off on its own. So you don't need to worry about that one. And for the manual use, once you're done with it, you can quickly turn it off by tapping on a toggle once again. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.